new foundation time. Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation, Oil-Free SPF 30. I got the color 250 Sand, and I've seen Tati review this. That's what made me pick this foundation up, because it self-refreshes, and it synchronizes with your skin. I don't know what that means, but we're about to find out. I just have my moisturizer on. I'm not using any primer because I don't normally use primer. I'm just gonna go in a couple pumps. Ooh, that looks really light. Um, I'm gonna go in first with my foundation brush just to get, eee, that's really light. Okay, let me just get it on my face here. Apparently, this foundation is supposed to self-refresh, which I guess I'll go ahead and put it under my eyes, which means that it won't settle into creases that may appear throughout the day, which we always have creases. I mean, there's no, not going to be any foundation that's actually going to cover creases. But if it's something that will not settle into creases and then stay there, I'm going to check it out. There is nothing like sitting down in front of the camera to film and you think, wow, well, okay, you know, not that bad. And then you see yourself with all the studio lights. Eesh. It says that it has medium coverage and it's good for all skin types and it can be used, you know, finger, brush, or sponge. Although the color is a little bit lighter than I would normally go for, the coverage is really good. It's na it is natural. I would say that it is a natural medium. It feels more matte. It's definitely not a heavy feeling foundation in my opinion. I've got a pretty thick, mo thick moisturizer on. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And what color is this? This has a really good peach base. This is called Creamy Beige. But I love it because it has such a good peach base. And peach bases will cover like that bluish tinge that you may have underneath your eyes. The reason I'm interested in this is because I crease a lot right here and on my forehead and underneath my eyes. Um, but it, because I have creases there, fine lines. And I don't know if there is a solution to that other than just, you know, letting it be what it is. But I'm always on the hunt for a foundation that's going to not play me. I'm gonna do a good wear test on this today, you guys. I'm not messing around. Let me see. It is currently, oh, 1241 in the afternoon, but. Okay, so I woke up a little late. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, give you one last view of, of how it went with my other makeup products on, and then I'm going to do a wear test with check-ins, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, all of my makeup is done, and it was about an hour and a half of work, and I don't want to talk about it. However, let's talk about the foundation. The foundation held up beautifully. I made so many horrible faces and went through like three sets of lashes and was very, very upset at one point. And the makeup has the foundation, the Shiseido self-synchronizing, renewing, whatever it's called foundation, held up really, really nicely, you guys. There is a marked difference in the performance of this foundation versus my normal foundation. I'll just say that right now, because I am not seeing the amount of creasing that I would normally at this stage. Normally, I am pretty creasy. The foundation looks fantastic. It's not additional creasing. I have natural creases on my forehead anyway because I'm like this all the time. But here, nothing. And all of my makeup went over the foundation beautifully. I'm really impressed with it. My first impression so far of the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation is really, really good. This is a check-in video, so I will be doing periodic check-ins throughout the day. Periodic check-ins throughout the day. We are, how many, what time is it? So I put this on at 12.41. Okay, so it is 2.30. I will check in with you guys in a few hours. I'm gonna go eat lunch and see how this foundation is doing. Hey guys, just popping in. It's about 4.30. I was looking back at the footage when I filmed this eye makeup look and I don't like it. My, I took the eyelashes off already. So I'm gonna refilm this look. Um, I was using the Conspiracy palette. So let's just, but the foundation, foundation telling you guys I've eaten lunch I have edited started editing I started to edit this makeup look and it just it's trash we are at about the this is actually technically about four hours after the foundation was applied 
and it is looking really, really good. I must say, I have an entire drawer full of foundation and it, none of them perform like this, none of them. By now I am, I am like crease city here and here. And I just don't have that much. It's not 100% crease free, but I would say about, about an 80% improvement than what it normally is. Shiseido, so far, so, so good. Everything is like holding up, so I'm pretty impressed. I'll do it, I'll be back with you guys in a few and uh, for a final check-in and see where we're at. Well, it is about 6.30. So this makeup has been on for six hours and it's ready to come off. I need a shower, I need to take this makeup off. My husband just pulled in, I can hear him. So I'm gonna start dinner. I'm going to wrap up my makeup day. But my final thoughts on, on the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. In my opinion, if you didn't watch from the beginning, I have normal to dry skin, but I put a super thick layer of moisturizer underneath. And it's been six hours and the makeup to me looks fantastic. I've never had a foundation that stays on like this. 100% crease proof, obviously not, but damn, damn near. So very, very minimal creasing, a little tiny bit here, which is normal and a little bit on my forehead, but so little that it doesn't even bother me. If you're on the market for a new foundation and it's time to purchase, try the Synchro Skin by Shiseido, the self-refreshing foundation. I think you'll like it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.